Reefers, welcome back. Okay, so today we're going to look at a product called Stone Fix by Aquaforest. It's a reef safe cement that um, is safe to use in aquariums and it's it will hold your rocks nicely together preventing a, a scape collapse or you know anything getting damaged from a rock falling or anything like that. It's always a good idea when especially if you're doing overhangs and things like that to have them fastened in some form of way so that to prevent a, a avalanche of your scape and potentially damaging coral or even killing a fish or, or invert or something like that. So it's just a good idea to glue your scape down. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, I've got Aquaforest um, Reef Rock here. This is what I'm going to be using as my rock. Okay, I've got three pieces I just took out of box uh, that were broken. Um, this piece here, which is also looks like it's broken off from another structure. But I want to make my own little structure, like a little overhang. So I want to give you an idea what you could do, for example. I have looked at this already. and Okay, so I'm going to look at putting these together and making a, a nice little overhanging ledge like that. Like I said, I'm not doing anything very special. I've got a little bottle there to help prop it up for the gluing stages. So that's basically what I want to try and achieve. Okay, so let's see if we can make it happen. Okay. Okay, so according to Aquaforest's um, mixing instructions, uh, it's 100 grams of stone fix to 50 mils of RO water. Okay, so here I've already pre-weighed uh, pre out 100 grams. I hope this is enough because that's actually all I've got left. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's go for it. I'm not going to mix the whole 50 grams in one go. I'm going to mix it as it goes and just in case it comes out a little bit too runny. Okay, so you've got about 15 minutes before this is cured. So bear in mind, if you've got a lot to scape, if you're scaping out of the water, mix what you need for a certain section of the scape. Don't try and mix the whole bag at one, one hit. You'll run into a situation where um, your, your reef, your stone fix, sorry, will have cured and yeah become unusable and it'll be a waste of of cement okay so they reckon mix it until it's a little bit gooey Let's see if we can start making our scape. Okay, remember you've got about 10 or so minutes to work with it. So there's my rock. Okay, I want to put this over there. Like so, okay. It's like I'm building. So I want to get some of the cement in between the little pieces on this side over here to, so it gets a good bond. Any gaps behind, unfortunately you can't see that. Just fill up any gaps you can find. Get the cement to bond nicely to both pieces of rock. this way it'll grip onto both rocks nicely and get a good firm hold okay I have to hold that piece yeah it seems to hope that doesn't fall off oh this 100 grams seems to just be enough and put a nice blob on the top here so I want to just keep a little bit for getting into the edges okay and then I'm going to put my little overhang like so my prop in place okay let's see how that goes so like I said last with the other one let's just get the 
cement into the grooves. Okay, so you can see already, this in the container is already starting to get very thick. Okay, when I started it off, it was quite runny. So when you first mix it, and if you follow Aquaforest instructions, it does seem a little bit runny in the beginning. Okay, but I've done it before, and you know, the first time I did it, I was like, oh shoot, I uh, put too much water with the, with the powder. This is not going to set nicely or this is going to be too runny i'm not going to be able to work with it but within a minute literally of pouring it and mixing it in it starts getting a lot firmer and a lot easier to work with so i say if, if you want to do a large scape i would rather do small sections at a time mixing up what you need you know to 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 build that structure and if you mix up too much at one time then yeah it's going to be a little bit difficult to um you know work with it okay so while we're waiting for that to to cure So now I have used it in the past where I've glued all the rocks together with the cement and just let it dry and then it looks very smooth like basically like if you had to plaster a wall and it just didn't give such a natural look yeah once the calcareous algae grow, uh, grows over it you don't see it and the calcareous looks more natural than the cement does but if you just take a like a little ice cream stick like this little plastic ice cream stick and just knock little grooves into it and make it uneven it'll just give it a much more natural ap appeal to it while you know while there's no calcareous on yes it's going to be a different color to the aquaforest rock but there are other techniques you can use for that as well so while this is curing okay so that's it we've bonded the rock together with the stone fix okay and it's busy curing um i wouldn't you know give it a stress test straight away i'd leave it for a, you know a good hour or so maybe longer before moving it around and that um just to be on the safe side you don't want to do all that work and then you move it and it hasn't cured properly in the center or anything like that so yeah just bear in mind when using stone fix to follow the instructions like this can be used in water with livestock but they suggest not to stick or, or use more or bond more than three pieces together at one go so you know just bear in mind there is livestock and there are chemicals and it is safe when cured and it is safe to use at low amounts in a, a tank with livestock but like i say just follow the instructions and yeah i've used it before it's a great it's a great product eh? it really is Okay, so this is, yeah, so let me just move that out the way, give you an idea. So there we go. Lacquer. Looks good. Stay tuned for our next episode. It's going to be part two of aquascaping, and we're going to show you a different method of sticking your rocks together. See you in our next video. Happy reefing.